Hello everyone and welcome to the Dana Homestead. I am Sigmini Dana and my spouse is Nathan Dana. We live off grid, which makes for an interesting lifestyle. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy. So we were hoping for a snow day. Unfortunately, Nathan did not get a snow day despite the amount of snow. He only has a two hour delay, but um, I'm gonna go let the chickens out and he is nicely getting me some more firewood before he leaves. Love that. Oh, I can hear the ladies. <laughs> wow, they're very talkative this morning. So I have been busy all day and uh, just got out of my last meeting. So I'm gonna enjoy some of the snow and by enjoy, I mean shovel. Also, I still gotta take care of the dogs. Um, you might see or hear him, but Nathan is home and he is plowing. So. <laughs> This is Sigwini from the future to do a voiceover. So after I was done feeding dogs, I noticed this blood spot in the snow, touched it with my shoe and it moved. Now they can see a little trail, there is something there. And I thought, oh, I have gloves. I'll just pick whatever this thing is and move it. Yeah, that was a really dumb idea. Um, as you will see here in a bit, the gloves did nothing to protect me. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, I move out of the frame, but you will be able to hear when I realize I've made a mistake. Um. I've made a mistake. And that mistake was picking up a wild animal thinking, oh, I have gloves, I'll be fine. Nope, the little dude crawled 
right up my arm and yeah is inside my sleeve right up against my skin my other arm or my other hand rather is holding it there in place so it cannot crawl up further i might need to get a rabies shot oh don't be so dramatic i later learned that it's actually really improbable that a small rodent will carry rabies or transmit it Oh, I have gloves. I'll be fine. Why was it covered in... Why is there so much blood right there? After talking with a friend of mine who studies lots of different types of mammals, we concluded the blood was probably from a predator attack that maybe got spooked because I was maybe 10 feet away from this scene of the crime. And so it must have just looked like a lot of blood, but not actually be a lot of blood. And of course it's trying to crawl up. <laughs> oh my God. This segment and one in the future are sped up because the original footage was eight minutes long. And I guess you don't really need to see me in this predicament questioning my life's choices for a full eight minutes. Really trying to climb up higher. Of course I don't want that. I wonder if uh, mice or voles or whatever this is can get uh, rabies. After consulting with my friend Mo, we also determined that this was not a mouse, a vole, or a mole, but this was in fact a shrew. And fun fact, shrews are actually venomous, so another bad reason to just go and pick up wildlife. Fortunately, if the Shrew was to bite me, it's more of just like a really bad bee sting and it's not harmful to humans other than just a bit of pain. I'm trying to take my arm out of my sleeve without having the mouse go any higher. I think it's enough. It's either a mouse or a vole. Honestly, didn't get that great of a look at it before it started Climbing all up in my clothes. <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay, okay. No, you're not gonna climb up there again. Um, I think this is a mole. I don't know what to do with this poor thing. When I showed my mom this clip, or this footage and told her what I had done, she literally just laughed and was like, wow, that is, that is so you. I bet it pooped more in my clothes. No, you're not going back up there. You may have noticed that I have taken my gloves off and that is because I figured at this point, if they were gonna bite me, they would have already. So what the heck? We've calmed down a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna go lock up the chickens for the night. Um, update on the mole. I think it was a mole. Um, yeah, I talked to Nathan, and obviously he's not impressed. Um, but yeah, so I... I don't think that that little mole was long for this world, um, especially since I found them in a huge blood stain on the snow and they were either sneezing or coughing a bunch. So yeah, I don't, I don't think they were going to make it that long. And um, so, oh my god, I almost just fell. So I went and I put them in a wood pile where we do firewood. So it's not a wood pile that we are getting wood from this year for burning. Anyways, time to take care of the chickens. Hello, chickens. Woo. Okay. 
No, eggs. What's up? I have a special stick I hang in a tree and I use it for when their poop and bedding gets in the way of this door. And this door. There we go. Good stick. Hi ladies. I don't think there's anything more for me to do outside. Uh, so I'm gonna go inside and get a fire started. When it warms up, we need to be a little bit better about chipping this ice. I couldn't move any of the controls because there's too much ice. And this is tipped way down forward because it's getting bent with too much stuff on top. So when it warms up, took my clothes off and I don't see any spots where the mole would have scratched or bit me. Like I said, I didn't feel any. And then um, also there wasn't any obvious sign of like poop or pee. I think it was just in my head. <laughs> but I felt it because I was panicking a little because what else are you gonna do when an animal is crawling up your sleeve? Great. It's the only correct answer. Unless you're a professional and you know what you're doing and it happens to you all the time. I probably obviously am not a professional in that aspect, so. living off grid at the Dana Homestead. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of this content, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.